Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the silver succulent earrings. Now, today I'm going to be using some charms and posts from Tiara Cast, and this is from their renewal collection. So, I just want to show you what these look like. So, you can see that we have this beautiful little post here that has that loop on the bottom, and right over here, we have that beautiful charm that I just love. And what I think is really neat is it's beautiful and three dimensional. So, you're really going to get a really nice style, and they almost Almost look like little roses so very neat and to add a little bead in the center I'm gonna be using some check glass I have this really pretty light loomy sort of green color so it's kind of mossy so I figured that would be really neat to go with the idea of the succulent so for tools I'm gonna to be using a round nose plier a chain nose plier and a flush cutter and I have some eye pins there just to help me finish this off now you'll notice that I don't have any earring backs here that's because I would like you to choose your own you can do a bullet clutch you can do the bullet backs where you have the plastic around it so if you're a little bit more sensitive these earrings are by no means heavy but I know some people do have sensitive ears or you can also use an ear nut as well so all of that you can get and all of these supplies you can get at beetaholic.com all right so let's go ahead and dive in we're going to take one of our eye pins slide on our bead here let that fall all the way down to the bottom and this is where it's really simple it's a simple wire loop <laughs> so we come in with our round nose pliers and just bend it back wrap it up and over the top and you can rotate your pliers then and bring that across finishing that loop now go ahead and remove your pliers and come in with your flush cutters there and you can just remove that little scrap set that aside and now go ahead and come in with your chain nose pliers we're going to bend that loop backwards just so we can open it just enough to slide on one of our charms here. I'm going to close that back up there, just like so. Come to the top, I'm just going to flip it around, and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to open up that loop, and we want to make sure that our earring post is going to be facing the same, the, well, the correct direction, so just like so. And then we want to close up our loop. There we go. And you are all finished. So you can see how beautiful and green that is. Isn't that lovely? All right, so I'm gonna repeat that to complete the earring here. And again, just sliding my bead down, coming in with my round nose pliers, wrapping up and over the top. Now I always do my loops in going in opposite, oops, coming with your flush cutters, uh, going in opposite directions. So if you have one loop that is going this way, you have the other loop that is coming this way. That's just something I like to do just aesthetically, but it is entirely up to you. All right, so coming in, opening up that loop, sliding on my little charm there. I just love these, I think they're so sweet. You could actually make a really nice jewelry set if you wanted to either hang one from the clasp of a bracelet or you could create a little delicate necklace. I think that could be really fun as well. All right, so closing up that loop and we have our second earring all finished. So there you have it. You can get all of these supplies and tools by heading over to beetaholic.com. And if you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button below to get all the latest from Beetaholic.